Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. Now Dogwin has been begging for biscuits. Here he is. Just give him some biscuits in there. There we go. Right, that should keep him happy. Now, today what we're going to be doing is working over in Dennis's field. We only have one field left to do, the wheat field. It is currently a little bit wet, so I do have a bit of time to spare. But I just need to mention a few things before we do crack on with today's work. So, uh, yeah, Dennis has said he'll pay us £100 a day. Seems okay. I'm going to accept it. I don't really have a choice anyway. I've already started working for him. But it's like a loose agreement. Also, these potatoes are going to be ready in the next day or two, so I really need to find a way of harvesting them. I could use a fork or a, or a spade, a special potato fork, but I would prefer to use something a bit more mechanical. So I was taking a look on a zoom bid and I actually did come across this very old vintage potato harvester, which is actually going to be perfect for the vintage tract, which we have, which I haven't really used very often. So it would give it a little bit of work and it would speed up my harvesting of the potato job. It's on 50 pounds currently, eight hours left. It's about 50 miles away, so a little bit of a drive, not too bad. I have the low load of trailer, so I'll just put the vintage tractor on that and pick it up. So I'm not really too concerned, but I don't know what it would go for. I guess my limit would be £100, 150 But anyway, that is later. That's going to be coming off later. If we do get it, we'll go and pick it up tomorrow. And we'll probably harvest these potatoes straight away. But... Before I do anything over at Dennis's place today, I have to move some grain. Now I do have a brand new bucket here. This bucket was fitted just this morning at a cost of £1,600. But it's going to be worth it. I do need a bucket for several different jobs. But the first job is going to be just to scoop some grain in the grain store and push it to one side because I, I kind of tipped it in a bad place, especially the first load of canola. So we're just going to get that pushed right into the side so I can get the third load in, the wheat. Yeah, you can see it wants to be in the corner. The wheat can go on the other side. I have no idea when he's going to sell this. It's not really anything to do with me though. I'm just harvesting the crop for him. I just don't want to be running over it because you know what it's going to do if we run over it. It's going to turn to oil. Okay, final scoop load I guess, or maybe one more. I think the oats which we have over there, they're fine. Just want to keep it all together in the corner. That'll do. Yes, yeah, so you might have noticed that the Fent tractor has gone. The reason why is because of John, obviously. Uh, so yes, the investigation is ongoing. Essentially, what's happened is uh, John has highly likely stolen a tracked tractor, whatever it was, probably you. Was it one of those big 9RXs? I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, stolen it from Alexander over in Australia. Sold it. And then bought new machinery over here with the money. I know it's not a laughing matter. Um, yeah, so he is in big trouble, essentially. I think well, Australian police and British police must now be working together to get to the bottom of it. But it's nothing to do with me, really, so I don't really know much about it. All I know is that John... He's probably going to be put in prison for some time. Right, so we're in the T7. Absolutely loving this tractor, it's so good. I'm going to go to Dennis's first just very quickly as I wait for the crops to uh, finish drying out. I need to clarify if he does want to have the wheat harvested today. I'm guessing he does. Also, I, I saw a Massey Ferguson tractor with a baler earlier. So I don't know if he's had his fields baled by somebody, a contractor. What is going on here? Well, Dennis seems set for Halloween. Does he know it's still summer? It's only August. Strange. Hmm. How are they... 
Levitating. Hmm, hope it's not like the curse of Mr. Jenkins again. Dangwin! Yes, Dennis? I've come to scare you. Dennis, what are you doing? It's the middle of summer. Eh? Yeah, Dennis, I hate to break it to you, but it's only August. You're thinking of the real world. Oh, blimey! Don't worry, Dennis. You can get these out at Halloween. Did you know that these two are facing the wrong way? Oh, why? They're a bit shy. I see. Well, Dennis, um, since you've got things prepared a few months early, maybe you can let me know about the wheat field. Do you want it harvesting? Oh, yeah, of course, Darwin. Get it done. I have to pack these things away. I must say that they are very convincing. Very clever. Hmm. That one's looking at me funny. I hope that's not a real coffin. Returning to Earth, we're going to go up here and we're going to wait a few more minutes for the crops to dry out as much as possible. Can't wait forever. It's going to have to be done. But if it has been bare, which I think it has been, um, yeah, I don't know if he wants me to move the bales or if he wants somebody else to do it, but he's clearly got a contractor in to do the baling, if indeed it did come from his farm. It doesn't matter too much if it's not dry enough, I do have to do a moisture test, since I actually do need to also do a test on my silage bales, if they're ready, I can start to sell them. Oh look at this, yeah they have been done. They've all been about Heston bales too. But yeah, if these are ready, then what I need to do is call in a haulage company to help take them away. Since I do have quite a few, and I think it'd be easier just to load them up onto a big Arctic trailer and uh, get them taken to the biogas plant that way, it would be uh, a much easier job than having to load up my trailer several times. Probably not cheaper, but certainly faster. So let's give this one a test. Okay, silage. So they can be sold. In that case, I will just make a phone call and I will get the, the lorry to come and um, we'll get them loaded up. See how many we can fit on. Phone call complete and they're coming at 1 p.m. So I need to be ready for that. I mustn't forget, I need to have the tractor here as well so that I can pick them up. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna bring the combine round this is a great place to put the header on, and let me just do a test on this. No, not too bad, it's only just too wet. I think with this sun which is beating down <laughs> through a cloud, uh, yeah, it should be ready in the next couple of hours. So I always get things set up and then we'll continue. There is a problem, as always, there's always a problem. The, the weather forecast, there is rain, coming very soon, it's imminent. I'll just show you the app. Here we go. You can see that there is quite a bit of, well not quite a bit of rain, but you know, persistent drizzle sort of thing. Precipitation 0 0.4, 0 0.4, so less than a millimetre in total, but it's enough to really mess things up. The crop is currently dry enough, so I'm gonna make a good start. Hopefully I can get it done, but the straw which is gonna be left in a swath is gonna get wet. But I guess th there is nothing that can be done. So let's just put the PTO on and we'll make a good start, hopefully. It might rain sooner than expected. I think it's supposed to be within the next hour or so. That's it. It's raining. Right, I'm going to get everything put into the trailer as quickly as possible. We'll get the cover put over it. Okay, there we go. So it's all covered over. It is safe. I uh, managed to get a few thousand litres, which was okay. But it does leave the majority of the field. Uh, just got around the headland once. It could have been worse. 
but in, in a way it might be a good thing because it means that the standing crop is going to dry out again, it'll blow dry whereas the straw which is left in a swath is just going to get wet and obviously it can't blow dry so um, yeah in a way it's probably a good thing that the rain has come now it would have been better if it hadn't come at all but it's the British weather for you, that's, that's what happens now this has stopped us for today, uh, if the forecast is right uh, I don't think there's much chance of it drying out again before it goes dark so I might as well just park this up and I'll get things ready for the lorry which is going to be arriving very soon just put the auger in the header trailer is right behind me that should do, that should be fine okay it's all packed up well that was a fun day harvesting hmm. yeah reminds me of many British summers Okay then, so I might as well just leave things here. I walk back. This pond really is beautiful. Random comment, I know, but you could have uh, a few hours of relaxation around here. moment of calm. Sometimes you need moments like that. Right then, so we're going to go to the backyard, take the bucket off, put the bell spike on, and I think really, uh, as all these uh, these bells are out in the rain, individually, they're not even stacked up, it probably would be good to get them stacked up. Not ideal now that they have already been rained on. Should have been done before, but obviously the contractors didn't have time for that. Um, but as I am waiting for the lorry to arrive, I will just stack those bells in a neatish pile. Because they can only get wetter. I think it would be a good idea to keep them all together. Okay, so the bell spike should be just around here. There it is. I shall put the bucket behind the combine harvester. I must remember to move it <laughs> before I move the combine. And yes, we'll get this attached. Don't think I need to take the trailer with me. So we'll just take this. It's still another hour until the lorry arrives. And I think also I will put my bid in now for that vintage potato harvester because I'm, I'm bound to forget. It's just inevitable. Then I'll be kicking myself. So yes, I'll place the bid. Almost there. It's gone one, and the lorry isn't here yet. It is quite a tricky place to find though for the first time, so, well, I've not had a phone call. Maybe they've gone to Dennis's. Not too sure what Dennis's directions are like. Hmm. Yes, they might never get here if they're speaking to Dennis. Anyway, yeah, I'll finish off these bells. If they're not here by the time I've done it, I guess we'll just wait because there's nothing else to really do. It's still raining, very persistent. And I am doing three together. Seems to be okay. But ideally, these bells want to be undercover. Not just stacked up outside. Ah, here we go. 
And they're driving confidently, they must know exactly where they're going to. Right, um, I have four I think in total. Good, the lorry's in the right place. The contract which Dennis used probably is supposed to be picking these up anyway, so I'm just doing them a bit of a favour. I would imagine it's their responsibility to move them into the shed. Unless they've sold already, they might have already been sold. Okay, um, I'll leave the one bale. Let's start loading up the lorry, mustn't leave the driver waiting any longer. So I think probably this line here is the best to start with. Look at that. Got quite a few to unwrap. They're good looking bales. Okay, that should do for now. Okay, right, well, I'm just on the top layer. Struggling a bit, I must admit. It is quite hard to reach up there with this, but I will get there in the end, even if a few do tumble. Well, many have already tumbled, but yeah, the, the lower level was all right. Fairly simple. But I'm almost there, so I'll just complete it, make sure no bell's gonna fall off on the road. And then, yes, the lorry can be on its way, but it's not going very far. It is just going to the bios plant I mentioned before, so simple stuff. And I should be paid at midnight tonight. Obviously the transportation fee will be deducted from it, but it won't be very high. Maybe £100. And I should be getting thousands for all of this with a bit of luck, so yeah, it's going to be good. But I need the money because as you know I have the tractor on finance, the New Holland. And um, £2,000 needs to be paid this weekend. Not today, I'll do it tomorrow. I think it's best to keep the money for as long as possible. The final bail, and I am pleased. Very pleased. There we go, yes, I'm probably the slowest person to ever load their lorry. But it is done. Double layer. So, that can now head off. Hmm, I don't think anything will fall off, especially with straps over. I'll park this over here. And it is ready to go. So what's left for me to do is just to move that final straw bale. And then I'm going to go back to the house and have some food. Oh, and I'll also update you later on if I have won the uh, the bidding on the um, potato harvester. I think I will do it. I don't want to be overconfident here, but I'm pretty sure I will do because I don't think many people would want to use a potato harvester like that anymore. I don't know. Except for me, of course. <laughs> it would be good if I could get it for less than £100. As I said, last time I saw it, it was on 50 so it's got a long way to get. My maximum bid is 150 Anyway, see you later. Well, the rain's cleared away, but no chance of harvesting today. Yeah, it'll have to be tomorrow. Anyway, as for the bidding, I did win it, but it's £125. I know what I'm picking up tomorrow. <laughs>